Hi friends, Tony DeWitt here, Missouri Appellate Attorney and a guy who likes to make the law make sense on YouTube. Here's what we're discussing today. If you want to make your personal injury lawyer laugh, go in and listen to him tell you that you have a great case and then say, oh, they'll settle quickly because they want to avoid the publicity. I get tickled every time somebody says that, and it has to happen about every other time I interview a new client. There is this perception out there, and I honestly, I don't know where it comes from, that a, a big company will settle a lawsuit quickly in order to avoid the publicity. Most companies realize that all publicity, whether it's good or bad, tends to inure to their benefit. It's free publicity. And the fact that somebody is engaged in a uh, situation where somebody gets hurt and as a result somebody files a lawsuit, that doesn't mean, at least as far as the company goes, that they have any reason really to settle the lawsuit. The publicity, if it happens at all, is going to be two minutes on the evening news and it's only going to be locally. Somebody, some company that has a nationwide operation and hurts somebody in Cleveland, nobody in St. Louis is going to find out about that. It's not going to be on the national news. But I've put together a little animation that I want to go through here because I think it captures pretty well what happens in litigation. So let's take a look at that now. So you're cruising down the road and all of a sudden somebody comes out of nowhere and T-bones you. Man, does that ever hurt. You are messed up. In fact, you lose consciousness at the scene. The next thing that happens, they send in fire and EMS. They pull you out of the wreck and they take you to the hospital. At the hospital, they discover you have three broken bones and a head injury. You're going to be in there for weeks. When you get out, the first thing you do is you call your personal injury lawyer and say, Hey, can you help me out? So being the good guy that he is, he does an investigation and he finds out, gets the medical records. He says, hey, you've got a case. You say those words no personal injury lawyer wants to hear. They'll settle to avoid the publicity. Now your lawyer has to do some explaining and tell you the hard truths. That is, the other guy had insurance. The insurance doesn't care about publicity. They could care less. Their incentive is to drag this out. They'll offer you 10 cents on the dollar and then they'll de refuse to deal fairly with you. In fact, the only time you are ever going to get anywhere is when you get to the courthouse, and that's when the insurance company might be willing to do the right thing. But you might also have to take it all the way to the jury. The fact is, they won't settle to avoid the publicity. Here are the facts. There is no short or easy path in litigation. Litigation takes time, it costs money, and the other side never plays fair. That's what you need to be used to. That's what you need to expect when you get into litigation. It's a hard thing to have to tell people the truth, but that's what lawyers are required to do. We're required to act in your best interest, and that means we sometimes have to share painful things with you. That the other side is not going to offer a pile of money. That they are not going to throw themselves on the ground and prostrate themselves in front of you and offer you cash to make you go away. They are not going to do that because in the long run, in the, long, in the grand scheme of things, you are just not that important to a company that employs 15, 20,000 people. What you are is a minor speed bump on the road, and they would just as soon run over you as fix you. The way insurance works is they make money by paying out less in claims than they take in in premiums. And the way they can pay out less in claims is to delay it as long as possible. And then, after they've delayed it as long as possible, to pay the least amount of money necessary to make the claim go away. Now, why is that? Because they know what human nature is. They know that if somebody files a lawsuit, they automatically expect that money will be coming at some point. Now, they might be willing to wait two or three months. They might be willing to wait a year. But when you're in the third year of a lawsuit that involves something as simple as an automobile accident because the other side has been very aggressive in litigating it, 
people tend to reduce their expectations, and what was once a $300,000 claim now becomes something that people are going to be willing to take $150,000 to settle for. And insurance companies know that. They understand human nature. They have people on their staff that essentially do the mathematics to make sure that they are properly taking out as long as possible all of these cases. That's how insurance companies work. That's how they make their money. And it's very frustrating if you're an attorney and you're litigating against them because frequently you can't get a straight answer. Now, there are some ways that you can manipulate insurance companies. For example, you can always say that you can pursue a claim for bad faith failure to settle. In Missouri, there is a claim for vexatious refusal, which is essentially the failure to settle a claim that you know you should claim that you should settle. Uh, I actually have a, over a $1 million verdict in, in one of those. And it was a very difficult and hard-fought case. In bad faith and vexatious failure cases, those two take longer to do. So it could be 10 years down the road before somebody gets money. So one of the reasons why lawyers tell clients the hard, cold truth up front is because they want you to understand again, from the get-go, that this is not going to be an easy path. But then again, anything that is worthwhile is quite often not easy. And holding somebody accountable for injuries that you sustained is definitely worthwhile, and it's definitely not an easy path to take. Now, I want to be clear. Not all insurance companies are this bad. Some are worse than others. There are a few, which I could name but won't, that are just almost impossible to work with. And so in those situations, you really do need a bulldog. You go in with that bulldog attitude and you keep pounding on the other side until they pay some money. But generally speaking, it's the relationship that you develop as a lawyer with the other lawyer defending the case that determines how well things are going to go. Now, if they've hired somebody who is ugly and difficult to get along with and who constantly says things about your malingering client, for example, well, you may not have a good outcome with that attorney. Uh, but you can't replace them because you don't control that. The insurance company does. But you can do the best you possibly can with that client. And, or, I'm sorry. You can do the best you possibly can for the client and sometimes that means if you're not getting anywhere with the lawyer, you do sort of default back to the bulldog attitude and you push and push and push and push until you get what you are entitled to get under the law. Almost every case that I've been involved with that has settled has settled for much less than the claim has been worth. Now, in, in a, in a $200,000 claim, it's not bad to settle that claim for $150,000 or so. You give the insurance company a little bit of a discount, and you see that happen all the time. That's a good result because if you settle, you get the money quicker, and you get the money certainly. One of the things that happens, even if you win at trial, the first thing they're going to do is they are going to appeal you. I'll give you a good example from the vexatious refusal case that I had. I got the judgment, and they immediately appealed it. And they continued to appeal it all the way up. They, they tried to take it to the Missouri Supreme Court. Missouri Supreme Court wasn't interested. There was no issue of general interest or importance in that case. But they waited until the last dog died in order to pay any kind of money on that case. And part of it, I think, was due to the fact that they just hated me and part of it was the fact that they just hated my client. But at the end of the day, there would have been no way to get that money at all if we had not pushed it all the way down the line to get to that result. That's the hard reality of litigation. And again, if you don't know that going in, you are bound to be disappointed. I oftentimes tell people that the average time frame for a lawsuit is 18 months, but that the more realistic time frame 
is on the average about two and a half to three years, particularly if there are serious injuries, particularly if there are going to be multiple experts, that sort of thing. So that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments down below or you can email me at the address above. If you have a video request, if there's something you'd like to see me discuss, send me an email at that address and put on their video request. That would be most helpful to me in sorting through the emails because I get tons of emails every day and it's sometimes difficult to pick out the ones that have actionable work for me in terms of my YouTube channel. Again, if you have the opportunity, please try to do something nice for somebody today and then come back here tomorrow and meet me at the beach and we'll have another discussion. Have a great day, folks. If you like this video, here are a few others you might try, and don't forget to subscribe. Have a terrific day, guys.